<laughs> Good Verhovenstein, you may proceed with the execution. Yes. Wait, stop. It would be my honor, sire. What? Execution? Before an execution, there has to be a trial. Very well, we shall observe the formalities. Formalities? Dearly subjected, we are gathered here today to witness the union of Quincy the Bipiosaurus and this volcano. A trial, my liege. Not a marriage. Oh, very well. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? I suppose this calls for a reading of the charges. Verhovenstein, if you'd be so kind. Quincy the Bipiosaurus stands accused today of the gravest of crimes, for which a guilty verdict can return only one sentence. Wormcast, please, help me! Sorry, dude, but these guys can take me easy. This sale is for thermal regulation and attracting the ladies. Not combat, but we're cousins. Second cousins. Whatever happened to blood is thicker than water? Actually, the original expression is the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Meaning? Meaning try and die with some dignity, man. The gravest of crimes. Quincy stands accused today of being not a theropod. A what? A theropod. What's a theropod? Theropod is Latin for beast foot. They're a special clade of dinosaurs which sport sauriscian hips, a bipedal posture, air-filled long bones, and a rapacious tenacity for blood. Say again. Theropods are a special clade of In English? Ferocious meat-eating dinosaurs. But I am a theropod. You're not defining it correctly. Permission to treat the witness as hostile, sire. Granted. Ah! <laughs> you were saying? Wait, stop. I am a theropod. I have sauriscian hips. I'm bipedal. I've got hollow long bones, beast-like feet. The only thing I'm missing is the thirst for blood, but that is not one of the defining characteristics of theropods. In all the ways that count, I'm just like you. The prosecution disagrees. I call Sheboygan the post to the stand. Mm -hmm. No! Ugh, can we stop using all these scientific names? I'm getting confused. Do you swear to testify to the guilt of this defendant, the whole guilt and nothing but the guilt, so help your recurve claws? I only swear when the occasion calls for it. Assume that this one calls for it. Alright. I object. I object! Overrule him, my liege. Ah, overruled. Mr. Sheboygan. Please tell the court what you saw this past die November 24th at 6.04 p.m. I saw Quinn say. What did you see him doing? Eating. And what was he eating? Or rather, what was he not eating? He wasn't eating purses. Yes, but what else? He wasn't eating pencil shavings. Yes, yes, what else? He wasn't eating Jupiter. Yes. He wasn't eating a chocolate-covered Wednesday. Good God. He wasn't eating meat. He doesn't eat meat. But not all theropods do. We're not all obligate carnivores. Obliga what now? Obligate carnivores. It means you only eat meat. That's not a defining characteristic of a theropod. You don't need to eat meat in order to be considered a I think it's abundantly clear that whatever theropods are, surely Quincy is not. That's not true. He looks more like one of those disgusting apatosaurs, if you ask me. Mated with the chicken. However theropods may be defined scientifically, for our intents and purposes, Quincy is no more a theropod than King Prexus is a fish. Then what does it take to be one of you? I'll give you a hint. The land we live in, it's not called the theropod kingdom, is it? And in the carnivore kingdom, you eat or you're eaten. Then <laughs> just ask me to leave. When you have a bone caught in your throat, you don't ask it politely to leave. You purge it with hostile prejudice. What? I believe we're ready to cast a verdict. Yes. No! This court finds Quincy the Bipiosaurus guilty of not eating meat. No! And is therefore not a theropod. For our intents and purposes. For our intents and purposes. No. A verdict which carries but one sentence. A run-on sentence? No. 
A periodic sentence? No. A compound sentence with the linking predicate nominative? Death. No! Ah, oh. Yes. Sheboygan, if you'd be so kind. Wait, Sheboygan? He's a postosuchus. That's not even a dinosaur. He's a Rausukian. My mother says that with a lot of hard work, I can grow up to be a crocodile someday. I'll see you all in hell. If you haven't seen the last of me, I'll be back. Just you wait. I'll be reborn from the ashes, a beautiful phoenix, and I'm coming back to kick all your asses. Don't kill me. Not like this. Not now. Oh, please. Don't we have anyone with more mouth? I say we rip out his innards and use his intestines for fishing line. Now hold on, we don't even know where he came from. He didn't come from here, means he came from Carnivore Kingdom. He doesn't look like a carnivore. He looks like my horn's latest hood ornament. Whoa! Whoa! Hold still. You got severe dehydration, massive heat stroke, and I think Tracy's gonna gut you if you try to run away. F and A. Nobody's gutting anybody. Don't eat me! Or eating anybody, obviously. Haha! <laughs> Bitch with thinks we're gonna eat him! Don't be silly. Why wouldn't we eat you? Because you're... Wait. I'm in... Herbitopia?